okay guys in this video i want to share with you guys about this compact wireless keyboard and mouse i bought from shopee this is the seller the product link is down in the description if any of you are interested in buying after watching this video it's gonna be awesome guys believe me this product is awesome especially for the price first of all i want to share with you guys how the packaging was this is how I received the product from the seller. Tearing off the shipment envelope, as you can see, the product is very well wrapped in a single layer of bubble wrap. After removing the bubble wrap, this is how the box looks like. It's just a little bit out of shape but that's probably happened during the shipping process. Not a big deal. The courier company is JNT Express by the way. So anyway, opening the box, I'm very relieved to see that the product is in a good condition. Both the mouse and keyboard works with just one single receiver. According to the box, the signal is 2.4 GHz. You can see more of the product description on the seller's page from the product link. Both the mouse and keyboard are powered by two AAA batteries. Even though on the mouse, the battery compartment is showing AA, it's actually not. Initial impression, I am actually impressed with the mouse. Even though it feels cheap, the buttons are clicky and the wheel actually feels good. It also slides quite smoothly on the surface of my table, even without any mouse pad. For the keyboard however, right after I tried pressing the keys, it definitely feels like a cheap product. Not all the keys have the same tactile when I press it. Some keys feel slightly more rigid than the others. The spacebar and both of the shift keys are the ones with the most cheap feeling in my opinion. They also make the loudest noise but I guess that's because of the size of the key. However, for the price, I really can't complain much. I mean, it is just as I expected it would be. Now why did I buy this wireless keyboard? It's because I'm an idiot, buying things I don't need with the money I should be saving. Anyway, I will be connecting it to my Android phone. Since the receiver is a USB, I would need a USB to Type-C adapter, which I already have. To connect the keyboard and the mouse to my phone, it's as simple as plugging in the receiver to the Type-C port. That's it. Then Android will do its thing and voila, it works. Truth be told, the idea was for me to use this keyboard as one of my productivity tool. This is actually my first video with commentary. However though, this commentary is a voiceover style, not a live commentary as I shoot the video. I don't have that skill set. So that's why I will write down the scripts then record it separately from the video. Usually I will write down the scripts on Samsung Notes as you can see here on this clip. So by having this physical keyboard, I was hoping that it would give me some sort of professionalism and boost my productivity. This is not an iPad Pro or anything, but just imagine sitting in a coffee shop with this setup pretending to do work. Okay then, let's talk functionality. For the price I paid, I have to say, the functionality is way more than I imagined, which makes this product so much more worth buying. I mean, being able to navigate through my phone without touching the screen is pretty sweet. For example, if I'm currently on Samsung Notes writing stuff, I can actually navigate through recent apps by pressing alternate tab. I can even go to home screen by clicking the mouse wheel, then navigate and open whichever apps I desire. So far in my testing, every apps that I use day to day like Twitter, YouTube and other typical social medias 
are all supported with mouse and keyboard functionality. Unfortunately, not all apps support landscape mode. Using this keyboard and mouse setup on WhatsApp feels exactly like using a WhatsApp web. However, like I said earlier, my main use for this keyboard and mouse is for Samsung Notes and they work just how a keyboard and mouse should work. For example, CTRL-C and CTRL-V works for copying and pasting. The arrow keys can be used to move the cursor between letters. Pressing shift for symbols also works. But by default, the keyboard layout was set as UK standards. So for some of them, when I pressed, different symbol would show up instead of the one indicated on the key. That's not a big deal though. Simply change the keyboard layout to US International in the settings and it's all good. I can also use the mouse to navigate the pointer to a word that I misspelled for example or to select an entire sentence. Like I said earlier, it works just how a keyboard and mouse are expected to work. The only difference though for the mouse, there are no right click function. The right side button is configured as a back button on Android smartphones. Meaning, when you right click, it's the same as pressing a back button on Android. Another cool thing I can do with the keyboard is music and volume control. By pressing Fn plus F1, I can immediately play music on my phone. I can also control the volumes, pause, stop, jump forward or back, just like how you would do when using a laptop. That's also pretty sick in my opinion. The first downside I noticed for this setup is the inability to access emojis. Correct me if I'm wrong about this. Unless the app itself, for example like WhatsApp, provides its own emojis, I could not find any way to access emojis from this physical keyboard. Another downside would be spelling. Usually when I use the digital keyboard, the predictive text are actually very useful for correct spellings besides predicting. Unfortunately, predictive text are not available when using a physical keyboard. But that is how it is when typing on a laptop or computer anyway. We can always rely on Google to check our spelling. Speaking of Google, I can activate Google Assistant by pressing the Windows key. So basically, if I'm unsure of a spelling, I could just activate Google Assistant and ask. Okay guys, I think I have been babbling long enough in this review. I have tried to compress as much input as I could. So I guess it's time to wrap it up. As a conclusion, this has been a good purchase and it was totally worth the money especially considering the level of functionality this simple setup provided for me. That is all for this video, do leave it a like and subscribe if you find it interesting. Also spread it around like butter on a bread. Thanks for watching, until the next one. See you